But today, very pleased to be here to launch World Science Festival Brisbane for its third year. We have been so fortunate in Queensland to be able to secure this incredible festival. It has only existed in New York uh, over the last 11 years, uh, and we were able to secure the only uh, World Science Festival event uh, outside of New York, right here in Brisbane. I'm also very excited to announce today uh, that we have been able to secure another three years of World Science Festival Brisbane. Uh, that enables us to continue this great work uh, to excite people about science, to see that great collision between arts and science that really excites everybody. This year we are pleased to bring a series of vibrant and timely conversations to Brisbane, including a program br uh, bridging the gap between science and religion, as World Science Festival co-founder Brian Greene is joined by neuroscientists, philosophers, anthropologists, and evolutionary biologists in a program called The Believing Brain, Neuroscience and the Spiritual Instinct. And we are honored to pay special tribute to the late Stephen Hawking, a legendary physicist, science communicator, and a longtime friend of the World Science Festival. Queensland Museum and the folks here who run the festival are spectacular. You know, when, you, when, you, when you're a founder of something, you put your whole heart and soul into it. You have particular um, standards and a particular vision for what this entity stands for. And we knew immediately that the people here shared that. They shared uh, uh, a, um, an interest in excellence and creativity, not doing the same things that other uh, science fairs, for instance, around the world do, but to actually do something that's global and impactful and creative. I hope people come to the festival and then go away and say, wow, science really is a great opportunity to do a whole range of things in your life and it's not just the boring lab with the, the lab coat and someone in there and, and studying and that type of thing. It's really it's a fun way to um, have a career and have a job and uh, there's great opportunities for anyone that wants to take science up and I think that's where the World Science Festival has really made its mark. It does things differently, allows people to see science differently. The ability for us to encourage um, jobs for the future around science, technology, engineering and mathematics, we know how important that is. So for us to be able to take part in a major event that can actually showcase those skill sets and also the opportunity for our local talent uh, to be put on stage as well. We know we're a medical and re medical research hub for the world, um, so it ticks a lot of boxes for us. But um, yeah, look, it puts Brisbane on the map. Uh, this one, without doubt, it's, a, it's almost a no-brainer. Um, it's not often that you do get the opportunity to have a science festival of this stature and this size. I mean, the only world science festival outside of New York and it's got Brisbane attached to it. How can you say no? Hi, I'm Alan Alda. And I'm really excited to be able to tell you that the World Science Festival is returning to Brisbane for the third year in a row. And there are some wonderful programs lined up. Discover the grandeur and the mysteries of the universe. Imagine close encounters with alien life. Experience the magical properties of the mathematical world. And test the limits of human physical achievement in the science of sports. Congratulations to the Queensland Museum and all the partners who contribute to the World Science Festival Brisbane. This is going to be a really exciting year. We can't launch this thing without a, a little bit of science ourselves. And you've spoken a little bit about uh, making science accessible to the public, and that's what Street Science and World Science Fest. I know you love your science minister and uh, you're diving in and getting a little bit involved. So I've got a flask, a little bit of nice warm water that I'm going to hand over to you for a moment. Um, and I'm going to add another material. Now, the material I've brought along here is a little bit of dry ice. Now, normal ice, but it's not made of frozen water. It's made from frozen carbon dioxide. So if I was to drop a few little pieces down into your beautiful red World Science Festival coloured solution there, the dry ice is going to start to warm up. We're starting to create a little bit of carbonic acid in the bottom of that container. You can see those bubbles rising. And as they rise, they're actually freezing a little bit of that water and we're getting a cloud to start to form coming off the top. Now the dry ice that we're working with today, you notice that I'm wearing a glove. Uh, the dry ice is really, really cold. It's temperature as a solid, that is what, 80 degrees or so down below the coldest morning here in Brisbane. So it's pretty cold. Now that cloud is handful in, just for a moment, just to ramp it up. Washing detergent in there over the weekend as I've cleaned my, uh, my glass there. 
just starting to bubble up, and those bubbles are actually getting caught. You can see the little clouds in there getting, and it's holding onto that beautiful cloud and those little crystals of ice. Blue. There you go, it's going through blue, and then off to sort of a, uh, it's going to change the pH as it produces carbonic acid. So if we have a look at that colour, I'm not sure how well you guys can see. Go. There you go, it's going back to green, and then through to yellow. And if we leave it in, it's getting darker and darker and darker. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. So as we can see, those clouds starting to, uh, to form coming off the day. As soon as it rises above uh, that minus 76 degrees, which is going to zoom in there, it's, uh, it's actually going to start turning straight into a gas. And that process of air condition isn't going to exist in the winter. It's going straight to the oh, yeah. It's beautiful. And a little bit cold because yeah. it was obviously made of ice. So. <laughs> <laughs>